stuff going on um, across the country about um, police having their pensions taken. A national study finds several Bay Area counties are being driven toward bankruptcy because of ballooning pension costs. Four of the ten counties in the worst trouble nationwide are in Northern California, Sonoma, San Joaquin, San Mateo, and Contra Costa counties. Now, the number on the left represents where they rank, and the number on the right indicates the year their pension fund will be bankrupt. Like that. Yeah. Yep, and we're, since we're retired, yeah. And, but that um, doesn't affect us because we're already in the barn. Right. Yeah. We're retired. <laughs> but, um, okay, the the guy in San Jose is the guy that's really pushing for it, the mayor of San Jose. Yeah. And I, and I think some of the stuff that, they're, that they want in here is um, what the city has already done. This is a, a, our six-year uh, forecast. This is for the general fund. Uh, and uh, the first column is, is the projection for next year, and then each year thereafter you'll see that, that we look pretty good for a couple of years, and then those numbers on the bottom line uh, where it says annual operating surplus or deficit start to turn red. What happens... Uh, in that third year to cause uh, those numbers to go red uh, is this. It's our pension costs. You know, we're in the service business. We provide services through our employees, so our largest expense by far are our employee costs. And this is what happens to the pension part of our employee uh, compensation. Overall, our pension costs are expected to go up by two-thirds, 66 percent, 59 percent for our miscellaneous employees, 70 percent for uh, sworn firefighters, and uh, about the same amount, 66 uh, percent for our police officers. They've already, they've already told the officers that were hired, what, a year and a half ago, that they're on a whole new pension program. Yeah. So we, we now have a two-tiered. So guys that were hired at a certain point are on the old tier, but now they're being forced to make their own contribution. And then the so new people, the new, yeah, they're paying yes. more, and the new people being hired are having to pay theirs and stay longer. So yeah. See, we all, we, we he and I always pay from day one, it, but, but, but it was a, a lesser percentage, like 7%. So yeah, it, so it was it's never that, free. You know, it's, um, um, yeah, 70%. In this um, one in Desert Hot Springs, of their that's what they get. They pay seventy percent of their pension. Yeah. You see what happened? You, you guys are all aware. You're aware of PERS. When PERS had their uh, investments just rolling like crazy a couple of years ago, and they were making millions, yeah. they came to the city and said, "Don't even pay us. We're making so much money. We're going to pay all these officers pensions." And they paid ours for mm -hmm. one before we left mm -hmm. for about ten to twelve years. Mm -hmm. And then as the money started drying up, they came back and they said, oh, by the way, we can't do that anymore. you got to start giving us some money back. And what mm -hmm. hers was hoping they would do is during those lean years, they would be saving their money. And how long and they you guys it for something else? Yeah, yeah, you guys notice question. like any kind of changes in the attitudes of the police in general? Like your generation compared to like the newer guys, like since 9-11 and Homeland Security and all that kind of stuff? No, I, I think it's a different generation coming on. Yeah, we, First of all, they're more electronic. Oh well, boy, yeah. <laughs> they're, we they're, came they're more serious. We had a radio. That's what I mean. like, Way yeah. more serious. We were having yeah, a good time. Well, a, yeah. a, lot, a lot is expected out there. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, you know, I do backgrounds on people that coming on. And, oh, my. Uh, yeah. If there were 100 people in this room, we're going to take one. We're just, right now, our issue is people's integrity. They'll come in and you know they'll list all their jobs. We'll say, hey, list. This is a candidate I had the other day. List every job you've ever worked or volunteered at. Well, she listed five. I said, it's funny you've only had these five at your age. Well, I've had more jobs. I said, how come they are on here? It says every job you've ever had. And she looked. She gave me that stare. And she goes, okay. Wrote them all down. I said, okay. Out of all those jobs you just added, how many of those have you been fired from? Because that's a big list too. She, she gave me the same stare. Three. I said, hold that thought. Let me turn over this other question we asked you. Have you ever been terminated from employment? And you answered no. And you signed it. Well, I mean, now they're, hey, they're hiring cops hey, right out of high gone. school.